Forget detection and blocks when scraping data with Puppeteer. This powerful extension makes it so much easier for you. In this video, I'll explain how Puppeteer Extra helps you scrape data seamlessly and more efficiently. And I'll walk you through how to set it up in just minutes. But before we dive into web scraping with Puppeteer, don't forget to hit that like button if you want more tips on avoiding bot detection. What is Puppeteer Extra? And what are the things you as a developer or web scraping professional can do with it? It's an extension of the Puppeteer framework, offering many useful plugins for web scraping and automating browser tasks. Need something extra for your project? Just create your own plugins and easily load them through Node.js. In less than one minute, I'll show you how to implement a custom Puppeteer Extra plugin. Now, how can Puppeteer plugins improve your web scraping and automation projects? Puppeteer Extra plugin Stealth helps you avoid bot detection. Puppeteer Extra plugin ReCAPTCHA lets you automatically solve reCAPTCHAs. Puppeteer Extra plugin Ad Blocker blocks ads to speed up your scraping. Puppeteer Extra plugin Anonymize UA anonymizes user agents for better privacy. Puppeteer Extra plugin Proxy makes your proxy integration seamless. Puppeteer Extra plugin User Preferences lets you simulate user preferences for website testing. Puppeteer Extra plugin DevTools enables browser debugging with DevTools. Puppeteer Extra plugin Block Resources blocks unnecessary resources to speed up page loading. Let's see how to set up Puppeteer Extra. Just follow these steps and you'll be up and running in no time. And in less than a minute, I'll also show you how to implement a custom plugin. First, you'll need an IDE for Node.js, like IntelliJ IDEA, to get started. Once you have that set up, create a Node.js project, then open your terminal and run this command. This will install Puppeteer and Puppeteer Extra on your system. Just a heads up, Puppeteer Extra doesn't come with any plugins by default, so you'll need to install them separately. Let's install the most popular one, the Puppeteer Stealth plugin, by running this command in the terminal. Now that we have the framework and plugin installed, let's create a basic function to use Puppeteer Extra with the Stealth plugin. Include these lines in your code. This calls Puppeteer Extra and adds the Stealth plugin. Now we can use Puppeteer to launch a browser instance and visit a website. Here's the basic code. In this example, we're launching the browser in non-headless mode, which means you'll see the browser's GUI. This can help with debugging. Once the page loads, in this case, IP Royal's website, you can perform your scraping tasks, and when you're done, the browser instance will close. Now, let me show you how to implement a custom Puppeteer Extra plugin. We'll write a plugin that outputs a message when a page finishes loading successfully. That would be when the page returns an HTTP 200 status code. Start by creating a new JavaScript file. You can name it whatever you like, as long as it's descriptive. For this example, we'll call it Puppeteer Extra Plugin Load Check JS. Here's the code for our custom plugin. Not sure what this means? Let me break it down for you. This defines a custom plugin class, which extends the Puppeteer Extra plugin class, making our custom plugin compatible with Puppeteer Extra. Here, we initialize the plugin object of the class we created. We use super to call the parent class and make sure everything works properly. This is crucial since we're extending the base class. This sets a default message or page loaded successfully if no custom message is given when initializing the plugin. This gives the plugin a name. Even though we won't load the name of the plugin, it's still important to do it. This defines the onPageCreated method, which runs when a new page is created. It initializes a variable to track whether the main page response is successful. This listens for responses from the page to check if the main document loads successfully. In that case, the plugin sets the variable to true. This listens for the load event to check when the page finishes loading. If the status code was 200, we output the success message. Finally, update the main code so it can use both the Puppeteer Extra framework and the new plugin. Here's how to do it. Just make sure the string under page load plugin matches your plugin's file name and you're good to go. If everything is set up correctly, 
both plugins will run and you'll see some output in your console. And if you're looking for reliable residential proxies for seamless data extraction with Puppeteer or automation without detection, IP Royal has got you covered. With access to over 32 million ethically sourced residential IPs in over 195 locations, unlimited concurrent sessions and non-expiring traffic, scraping dynamic websites has never been easier. Ready to scrape without interruptions? Head to iproyal.com now and get the best proxies for scraping with Puppeteer Extra. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on using web scrapers and browser automation tools without detections or blocks. And hit the bell icon. See you soon.